Hey, Ryan, you keep the sloppiest office I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> if you have a clean office, you have a lot of free time. <laughs> okay. You're testing out a vent store. Yeah, another vent store here. Just make sure everything worked. Uh, it actually uh, came back. Uh, I don't know if they wanted to, what the issue was, but it looked like the homeowner or what, whoever didn't have a common and they decided to change their mind. Right. Uh, should be working fine. All right. Hey, you want to go hook it up? Yeah. This is our one complaint about vent stars. Yeah, they're a little hard to uh, take apart. To take apart yeah. here. I usually use the yep. tool helps. Yep. When it's mounted on the wall, not quite as easy. But actually, when it's mounted on the wall, you can pull it a little better. Yeah. You have to do both it's sides, like I've found. There we go. Cool. Now, this is the uh, thermostat we're going to take down. And uh, it is a top tech thermostat which is carrier actually yeah, it's just fine but we kind of like the vent star a little bit better we never use batteries because we have a five wire system and that's one thing that the uh, vent star has to have is five wire Ryan is now shutting down the uh, mains first step you want to make sure you turn down off the power to the indoor Again. a lot of people will turn the power off to just the outdoor unit that does not kill the power to the thermostat unless you have a package unit right in a split system situation, which we have, air handler in the attic, unit outside, you need to kill the power to the air handler or the furnace. In our case, we got an 8KW heater here, 50 amp circuit, and labeled air handler. Right. And that'll bring us back to if the If you thermostat. don't, there's no batteries in the thermostat, that will turn it off. And as you can see, no batteries. And it's blank. And it's blank. All right. Just remove the front right. plate. Yeah, we're removing the old one. Tell us about color codes as you go, right? Well, they're different for every system, and, and don't color actually means nothing. You got to just make sure that it's the same inside, outside, and air handler everywhere. It's consistency. Um, a lot of people think R is red, which most of the time it is, but you can't depend on that. Like in this situation, we have a B right here, yeah. But do not put the blue wire on B. Please. That would be a direct short. B is actually the reversing valve energized for a ream or a rood unit, right? Our B, and in most situations, is a common, which is C. Okay. So don't always depend on color coordinates. The best thing to do if you're going to change the thermostat yourself, label the wires as you take them off so you know where they go back, if you're not sure. That's a good idea. G is the fan. Y is your compressor. We have a single stage here. It's a, I think too old of a unit. It's about a, what, 08 model or something. It's not, yeah. not very old. It's a 410 unit. It's yeah. Good system. Lynx unit. And we're kind of in an awkward spot here. Yeah. Yes, we are. And I'll cut away and let you keep on removing those wires. Right. Okay, you removed the back plate. And now you're going to put uh, the back plate of the uh, Advanced RT5800 back up. Not back up for the first time. You punch the hole through the cardboard and you're going to set it. Okay. The holes line up with most standard Honeywells and your other thermostats, uh, usually for a four inch box. Um, if you have a uh, like a standard wall outlet. Mm -hmm. It'd be a four inch box. They typically the holes line up with those. Go. All right, hooking them back up. Uh, like I said, if you're not sure about your wiring, uh, please label them. Um, I've done it a half a million times, so I've got it down pretty good. This one's the common. We hook I'm hooking up first. With the power off, really doesn't matter what order. The main thing is to make sure you get it right. And if you have any, you know. Any question about it, go to the air handler, go to the outdoor unit, make sure that every wire is is consistent and through all pieces of equipment. When you say air handler unit, a lot that's usually in the basement, crawl space, or, or crawl space, yeah, depending on yeah, the house, yeah, garage. You know, if you have a package unit, these will work with package units. Sure. Just make sure you know your wiring is going to be outside. Make sure you have a common because if you don't have a common, don't even take it out of the box because right. it's not going to work. Right.
It's more of a professional application. Yeah, exactly. It's made for newer equipment, higher efficiency equipment. Right. Um, you can use it with older stuff, providing you have a common. Okay, so let me just take okay. a quick look at the... Okay, so it's all wired up. Yep. Okay. And these have little, like, hinges on the top, and then they snap like that. Right. Don't, don't worry about like that, that sound. Yeah, that's a good sound. I mean, that anyone can fall off. Okay. We're... Then turn the power back on, and as you can see, it lights up. Okay, as you can see, it's lighted, lit up. Uh, power remains back on, and it's going to go through its uh, startup phase. And since this is a heat pump, we'll be able to adjust it. Yeah, we'll have to set it up for a heat pump. Um, be a two heat, one cool, where the second stage of heat is your auxiliary strip heaters. Cool. Thanks, Ryan. Yep. Okay, it went through its uh, system start, and now we're going to go into the program. Spawn phase. Just going through the uh, setups for the days. Right now we're doing the afternoon mode for Monday through Friday. And you can do each one individually each day. We're going to do a 5 and 2 um, because this is for the office. And uh, now he's going to nighttime, which I guess would be at 6 o'clock. Yeah, well, since, yeah, since it's a heat pump, we don't drop it too much. Don't drop it too much. Um, 4 or 5 degrees more than what you leave it on is good because... If you're going to have to kick the strip heaters on to bring it back to normal temperature, yeah. where, where's the savings? Yeah, there is no savings. All right. All right. All right. You just have to be sure to go through the entire program and make sure that it's all taken care of because it's going to go on automatic and you might not know. You have to hit the save make button. Sure, yeah, make sure you hit the save button. <laughs> right. And saying, is, you know, have you done it successfully? And there it is. That's it. It's in action and you can pull this out. Heat, cool, off, or auto, we leave it in auto. You never really have to touch it again. In other words, from winter to summer, right. it'll change over. And then fan on and off. Right. And I didn't do a set the date. Okay. Menu. Probably has a daylight savings time program in there, too. Pretty much has everything. It yeah. has an outdoor sensor. Brightness, the night dimmer. Right. Uh, maintenance schedule, if you need it. Mm -hmm. Screen cleaning. Just like a T-Stat 8000 yeah, by Honeywell. Yeah, very similar. Just a lot cheaper. <laughs> and they probably make it. They more than likely. And then there you have it, all set up and scheduled, all ready. And we named it. Woo!